welcome back guys i hope you will be fine so this is section 5.5 which is the pulse waveform operations in our uh, digital logic circuits and uh, this is question 29 which we have to solve so for the logic circuit in figure 5.60 okay so this is the logic circuit draw the output waveform in the proper relationship to the inputs okay so these are the input waveforms which we have here and this is the logic circuit okay so in this uh, circuit we can very easily see that we have two waveforms so let me first introduce them what are those uh, waveforms so here we can see that in a we have a certain value which is at the bottom and then it releases and goes upward and after some times it get back to the lower bottom and then it goes up to a certain other level okay so what are these values so this is what this value is basically the zero value and this is one value okay similarly this is the zeroth level and this is one level okay so in order to draw it let me draw it here as well on the x and y axis and we can see very clearly here that this is one and this is what this is zero okay so these are the uh, waveforms which alternatively get the values which are either zeros and ones and on the basis of them we have to find the output of them similarly in um, our input b we can see that there are also the same levels which are uh, somehow faster than the uh, input a we have and on the basis of it we have to find the output of the circuit which we have here okay so uh, this in the in the circuit what is the logical expression for it so here we can see that this is b which is applied here and uh, here we have got b complement okay so uh, this is what this is the output of this uh, circuit and here this a is applied here because of this bubble it will also be the a complement okay and and this b complement will be removed by this bubble as well so it will also be the word this will be b so here let me call it y so at the y what i will get here i will get a complement dot b okay so we can see that here this a is complemented by this uh, bubble while this b complement uh, bubble is removed by this another bubble okay so this is y so this is a prime dot b so we can find this y here as well so the y output will be what this is a complement dot b okay so this is a complement dot b so let me find out the value for it so let me represent it by using this color so we can see that we have the different levels for it so we have first this level then this level okay then we have this level okay this alternation this alternation this this okay this up to this it is constant and this one this one this one and the last one is here okay so uh, what are these so let me see them so writing them here he here we can see that at this first level the value of a is 0 and the value of b is 1 okay so when the value of up to this the value of a and b both are zeros okay we can see them here these both are zeros similarly at this value we can see that here the value of a is 1 and the value of b is 0 okay here both values are 1 1 here the value of a is 1 while the value of b is 0 okay here both values are zeros here one is 0 the other one is 1 this is 0 the other one is 0 here first one is 1 the other one is 0 these two are 1 1 this is 1 this is 0 while here we can see that both of them are zeros okay so on the basis of the waveform alternations we have found out their values okay so let me draw the uh, diagram for it so when the two are zero so we can see that here the output will also be zero which can be mentioned here so let me try it by using this one so here we will see that it will also be zero okay so here it will be zero 
when 1 uh, which is a is 0 while 1 b is 1 so 0 complement multiplied by b1 that would be 1 so here we will have what up to this point we will have 1 okay here uh, a is complemented which will be 0 and b is what we can see that b is now 0 so 0 multiplied by 0 is 0 so here we will have 0 up to this point here we can see that both are 1 1 while a can be complemented and it will become 0 so therefore it will remain 0 here as well here in this part we can see that a is 1 which will be complemented and give me what give me 0 so 0 multiplied by 0 will also be 0 so it will remain 0 okay here we can see that b is 0 while this will become 1 so 0 multiplied by 1 will be 0 so it will remain here similarly now we can see that here b is um, 1 while a is 0 so complement is a is 1 so 1 1 is 1 so therefore here we will get 1 okay here both of them are 0 so it will give me 0 because uh, if a is complemented b will remain 0 and it will make this product equal to 0 okay here we can see that a is 1 while b is 0 so this b is 0 so therefore it will remain 0 here as well okay here two are one ones so we can see that a will be complemented and give me zero and their product will remain zero here as well okay here uh, a is one while b is zero so b zero any one of them is zero it will give me zero so here i will get zero as well here both of them are zero so here this will be the waveform for this a prime dot b okay so this is what this is for the y okay after it what i have to find out i have to find out the value of x so let me find out the value of x and it will be the product of uh, this b which is coming from here and this a prime dot b and the uh, whole complement of them because these are nan together so uh, we can see that a complement dot b and these are multiplied with b and this is the whole complement so this is what this is x so let me find out the value of x here as well so it will be x and in order to find it out the value of it is what a prime dot b multiplied by b and the complement of them okay so uh, a prime dot b is already calculated let me find out what we have to find out a prime dot b multiplied by b so let me first find the what a prime dot b multiplied by b okay so uh, let me find it out so as the uh, both of them are multiplied together so let me extend it as well okay let me extend it and here as well Okay. so um, if any one of them is zero it will be zero so in first instance b is zero and this is zero so it will remain zero here as well so let me use this color so it will be zero okay in the second instance both are one so it will be one in the third instance b is zero so therefore it will remain zero in all of these instances it will remain zero because the level of it is also zero so the product will remain zero here we can see that both of them are one so here will remain one here all of them are zero so it will remain zero here as well okay so this is what this is the value of it and at the end we have to find out the value of x and x is what that is a complement dot b uh, multiplied by b and the whole complement of it means the overall complement of it and this will be the opposite of it so it will be one it will be zero it will be one here okay here it will be zero it will be one here okay so this is what this is the waveform which i wanted to find out and this is the required waveform which we wanted to have and this is what this is the answer of my question okay so i hope all the steps are now understandable to you guys and you can find out the output of any waveforms or uh, pulse waveforms which are given as input 
to any logic circuit because this is what which have been performed in the real world operation so i think the concept is now clear and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon